Okay, reverse crossovers. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more intense than normal. So give it a try. See if you feel it more. I definitely do. The reason that I'm using a bench is because the floor isn't there to support me. So when my foot goes down, the floor's not stopping me. So I'm increasing my intensity of this exercise. Give it a whirl. Try and find something that you can lean on a little table or something like that. You'll see a difference so much. It burns so much more and you feel every single move because you're not putting your foot down on something. We all do it. We all put our foot down and we all cheat. So try and get yourself a bench or something to do this on. So you're going to lie down either on the floor or on a bench. Take one foot onto the opposite knee. Get yourself in the right position. So lift your bum, squeeze it, lift your shoulders, take the arch out of the back and then either hold onto the back of your bench or you can hold onto the floor. Extend the leg. Bring the leg up to the ceiling, slight bend in the knee, making sure this, flat, this foot is flexed to, to support this knee to protect your joints. So then you're going to lift up to the ceiling and then take it down. This is not a speed move. You need to go all the way up, feel it, then lower down slowly, really pulling your abs in. So you come up, abs are in, take it all the way down. So you're going to do as many of those as you can. For those of you that are just starting out with us, you can take the cross out and you can just do a reverse curl. So you're just going to lift the legs up and then pop it to the ceiling. So you've got both legs to help you draw it up. You'll find it's a little bit easier to do it that way.